This episode is brought to you by California Almonds. Almonds are a great addition to any wellness routine. They're the perfect on-the-go snack, and only a handful of almonds is all you need to get the benefits. Like 50% of your recommended daily value of vitamin E, a powerful antioxidant that helps protect and keep your skin healthy. So no matter what wellness looks like to you, yoga, massages, listening to your favorite podcast, almonds are easy to bring along. Eat almonds, live well, repeat. When it comes to fitness, what's real? How about when it really, truly fits your life? That's how anytime fitness sees it. Because our coaches see you. It's how they build personal plans that work wherever you are and focus on everything that matters, from fitness to nutrition to recovery, all so you can push yourself further than ever or just through the next rep. It's total 360 support for a real difference. That's Anytime Fitness. That's Real AF. Visit anytimefitness.com. This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 1625, Healing the Post-Holiday Hangover Blues by Rachel Shankin of mindbodywise.com. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another one of our Sunday bonus episodes here on ORD. I'm your host, Greg Audino, and if you're new here, each Sunday, in addition to our regularly scheduled post, we share a previously aired episode from another show in our network uh, that we believe has good crossover and that you would enjoy. I think the topic of today's is something we can all relate to a few weeks removed from some major holidays. So I'm going to turn it over to Justin of Optimal Living Daily as he narrates this for you. Let's hear Rachel Shankin's work now and start optimizing your life. Healing the Post-Holiday Hangover Blues by Rachel Shankin of MindBodyWise.com Do you ever experience a post-holiday depression or emotional hangover? This year, maybe the holidays met your expectations, exceeded them, or depleted you. Whether you're a lover of the holiday season or you thrash through it painfully, you may experience a dark mood day or dark mood week that follows the end of the season. This is normal, and there's plenty you can do about it. Why does this happen, and what can you do about it? First, a personal story. Two days before Christmas, I attended the funeral of my amazing and beloved uncle who died from pancreatic cancer. He was profoundly loved and admired. I could write many posts about his impact on the hearts and minds of countless people, including me, but I'll save those words for another day. I digress. Following the funeral, I was talking with a family friend who was discussing some wonderful new and unexpected things that were happening professionally for her and her husband. With a big smile, she said, what a difference a year can make. It was at this moment that I knew I had to write this post. For her and her husband, the holidays this year versus last year are a marker of progress, joy, abundance, connection, and hope. I couldn't be happier for them. However, for so many others, the holidays are a marker of loss, lack, and loneliness. To be sure, my holidays will never be the same now that I lost my uncle. I'll feel his absence always, but especially at this time of year when he isn't walking in the door wearing his signature cowboy hat and giving me a bear hug, making his delicious gravy, or raising his cynical eyebrow in irreverence at some benign comment from a member of my family. Yes, what a difference a year makes. Why the holiday blues happen. The holidays are a reminder of time passing, change taking place, the losses and gains of years past. During the holidays, you are literally surrounded by expectations of how you are supposed to feel, what you are supposed to do, and what you are supposed to want. If you don't feel that this is the most wonderful time of the year, or you don't have access to buying extravagant presents, or maybe you don't want to go to your company's holiday party, you may feel like something is wrong with you. You may feel isolated and alone. Now, add in the lack of sunlight and you've got the perfect recipe for feeling blue. You may think you are the only one who feels this way, but you are not the only one. Why the post-holiday hangover happens. Whatever happened during the holiday season is now in the past, but you still reverberate with what could have been or what was that is now over. Either way, you're back to the regular routine, the days are dark, and your mood might be too. More importantly, here's what to do about it. Here's some simple and effective ways to care for yourself in the weeks that follow the holidays. Number one, light. Light more candles, buy twinkle lights for inside your space, or if you notice you are deeply affected by lack of sunlight, buy a light box. It all helps. Number two, connection. Don't hibernate solo. Surround yourself with people who make you feel good, not the ones who hold you to some societal expectation of how you are supposed to feel. Number three, movement. A sedentary body flattens mood like nothing else. 
Make it a point to move every day, even if only for a few minutes every hour. Number four, make. Create something from nothing because it's fun and it's good for your brain. Try a new recipe. Buy kinetic sand and build a castle. Doodle. Build a spaceship out of Legos. It doesn't matter what you create. It's all about the process of creativity that lifts your mood. Number five, reward yourself. Treat yourself with small things, things to look forward to later in the day or later in the week. Pick an activity that you like to do. It could be a movie you wanna see, a museum you haven't been to in a while, or or something as simple as a chai tea latte. Use your reward to have something to look forward to and to get you out of the house, doing something you enjoy. Fun, right? Number six, clear your clutter. Your physical clutter impacts your emotional well-being. Choose a messy or overpacked closet in your home or your office and take some time to purge and reorganize. It's amazing how effective this can be in relieving your emotional clutter. Warning, after doing one closet and experiencing the effects, you may just find you'll want to declutter your whole home. Number seven, quiet time. Stop busying up your schedule and take a few moments every day to slow down. This tool is a perfect activity to accompany you during your moments of quiet. Try it out, I think you'll be glad you did. Number eight, shake up your routine. Doing things the same way every day can lead to monotony and depression. Try changing one small thing every day. Take a different route to work. Use a colored marker instead of a pen. Wear something you haven't worn in a while. Try a different workout or sign up for a new class. Listen to a podcast or a band you've never listened to before. Or use lime instead of lemon. So many options and so simple. Shake it up and see what happens. Number nine, volunteer. Giving feels good and creates connection with others who have similar views and passions. Choose an organization whose mission resonates with you and go for it. Number 10, eat smart. Eat dark leafy greens and cut down on sugars and refined flours, which give your system a high-low spike that negatively impacts your mood and depletes your energy. Number 11, sleep and hydration. As basic as this one may sound, getting ample sleep and staying hydrated is absolutely vital for your mental health and physical health. These are non-negotiables. And number 12, use your toolkit. If you haven't yet, skim this post for help with building in moments of feeling good every day. This is a great way to shift your mood and have a tool that lasts a lifetime. These suggestions are for how to change your mood in the post-holiday season. However, if your mind, body, and heart aren't shifting and you're spiraling into more dark days, take note and take it seriously. The most courageous thing you can do to care for yourself is to tune into your whole self and get support when you need it. P.S. The post-holiday hangover is a common response to the hype of the holiday season. Hang in there and use these tools to help give you a boost. See if you can have fun with it. You just listened to the post titled Healing the Post-Holiday Hangover Blues by Rachel Shankin of mindbodywise.com. This episode is brought to you by California Almonds. Almonds are a great addition to any wellness routine. They're the perfect on-the-go snack, and only a handful of almonds is all you need to get the benefits. Like 50% of your recommended daily value of vitamin E, a powerful antioxidant that helps protect and keep your skin healthy. So no matter what wellness looks like to you, yoga, massages, listening to your favorite podcast, almonds are easy to bring along. Eat almonds, live well, repeat. When it comes to fitness, what's real? How about when it really, truly fits your life? That's how Anytime Fitness sees it. Because our coaches see you. It's how they build personal plans that work wherever you are and focus on everything that matters, from fitness to nutrition to recovery, all so you can push yourself further than ever or just through the next rep. It's total 360 support for a real difference. That's Anytime Fitness. That's Real AF. Visit anytimefitness.com. Thank you to Rachel, great tips. One thing I'd add, or remove in other words, I personally would just pick one, maybe two of these to focus on and try because 12 things can sound overwhelming. These are simple ideas and even one can make a big difference. This is something my brother would preach over on Optimal Health Daily. The importance of starting small and not feeling overwhelmed when trying to make a change or think differently and that sort of thing. So yeah, my recommendation, just try to pick one or two. If it doesn't work, then try a different one. That'll do it for today. Thank you for listening and sticking around until the end. Have a great weekend if you're listening in real time and I'll see you tomorrow as usual where your optimal life awaits.